And we are back here at Fort Osage High School in Independence, Missouri, where you're watching this conference matchup between the Bears of William Christman and the Indians of Fort Osage. As you just saw, Giovanna Moore in the first quarter, putting the Bears in the first quarter with a three, excuse me, putting the Bears out 23 to 12 now, 11 point lead for the Bears. <clears throat> and yeah, um, the keys for the game were to stop the drive for Coach Thompson and I mean, she has stopped the drive, but just four three point already four three pointers for the Bears have really, I mean, not I wouldn't say killed because it's the first quarter, but you know, hurt the Indians so far. Yeah, and then that last one, I mean, there's nothing really more yeah. Kylie could do except block it. Yeah, I mean, that was good defense. I mean, she's just a, a good better shot, shot I guess. <clears throat> As the Bears now have it, any now with the ball up the top, pass it into Jennifer David, a good pass to Lillian Miller, who misses the somewhat layup about a. Six foot jumper there. Kylie Flowers gonna push the pace here. Up the floor, she's gonna find Brooklyn Gilpin in the corner. He's looking for Mason Smith inside, but Brooklyn's gonna drive. Ooh, missed the layup though. Give on a more with the rebound now. She's gonna slow it down, get it to Zazomski. Kaylin Ward playing some girl to girl defense here. And they get the lane. Ooh, Zazomski with two points there. Oh, good, Ooh, good move. pass. Good pass in there to Macy Smith. Good move by Macy Smith. Gets her a layup. <clears throat> Macy's averaging eight points on the year, and she's averaging all eight of those points, and she has yet to shoot a three-pointer, according to our stats. Yeah. And that's going to be a legal screen on Giovanna Moore. So she's going to pick up her first foul of the game. As Sophia Cornett is going to check into the game for Kyra McIntosh. Or no, for Kaylin Ward, excuse me. And excuse, I said that wrong. It would yet to make a three. She she could have attempted some three. She's yet to make a three on the year. Um. Okay. I didn't see all five players for the Indians out there, but now I do. Sophia Cornett, Tawaki, Macy Smith, Brooklyn Gilpin, Kylie Flowers out there for the Indians. Sophia Cornett has the ball. She's going to travel there. It's going to be a turnover for the Indians. And for the Bears, it's going to be any Nauer, Lillian Miller, Jennifer David, Giovanna Moore, and Amanda Sazomsky, who has the ball now with Sophia Cornette picking her up full court. She's going to put a move on Sophia. Now she's going to slow it down, run the offense. Any Nauer with the ball up top. Lillian Miller for three. Doesn't shoot the wide open three. Feeds it into Jennifer David, who uses her big body but misses the layup. Any Nauer with the rebound. She saves it, though, into Kylie Flowers. He's going to push the break. Ooh, she's going to miss the layup. I don't know if that got blocked or not. Giovanna Moore now with the rebound, though, and it's going to push the break. And she's going to take the layup, and she's going to make it. It's going to leave her with now 15 points on the game. Now, Christian hasn't made very many subs in this game. If we can keep defensively, if we can get some stops, get some fast breaks, we can wear out their, their uh, post players down there. Because uh, none of them can keep up with Kylie. You just keep pushing the pace. You can wear them out. They want to be able to do as much work on the inside as they've been able to. As Kaylin Ward now checks in for Sophia Cornette. No, excuse me, Macy Smith. And just a bad pass right there by Kylie Flowers. That's going to turn the ball over. It's going to give it right back to the Bears. Just under six minutes to go in the second quarter here. 27-14 Bears. And Kylie Flowers' turnover percentage on this season is... 20.1%. As Sazomsky with the ball now. Sophia Cornette playing some full court defense. Miller with the ball at the left wing now. She's going to dribble a few times. Sazomsky on the right wing. Pushing it back to the top of the key. Lillian Miller gets the ball. She's going to feed it to Jennifer David who's going to use her big body and miss the layup again. Annie now with the rebound. Put back miss. And... David with the rebound, put back fouled. That is going to be a foul on Caitlin Ward. That's going to be, I believe, her second foul of the game. That is her second. As Jennifer David now at the line shooting two free throws. Now she's going to miss the first one off the front of the rim. Macy Smith is going to check into the game for Caitlin Ward. <clears throat> 